the Life on the Verge project um, has two main uh, sort of focuses. So uh, we have a Verge survey um, element to the project where we're teaching people the skills to identify our native wildflowers. So they, they can go out and they can survey local verges to work out whether they are species rich or species poor. So it might be that some communities have um, an area of verge which uh, is species rich and maybe it has some amazing orchids or other um, plant assemblages, so a mix of loads of really nice plants together. So there are lots and lots of different species in one particular area. But they could be at risk because there could be a thug amongst them, which is basically a plant that can become overly dominant and start to smother some of the other species out. So that could be scrub like willow um, or other, other plant species, just the grasses get too coarse and then you start losing some of the more delicate plant species. That won't be very good for uh, pollinating insects or, or um, you know, butterflies or any of the other invertebrates. So the first thing is to know what you've got. Then if a community decides that they want to either create a, um, a wildflower rich verge, then we can support them. Or if they've already got a species rich verge, then we can help them just to manage that optimally to encourage that diversity to be retained. And my role as project coordinator is just to help the community through all the processes that are required so that includes because we're working by roads that includes road safety so Devon County Council has neighborhood highways officers um, who we liaise with we provide a risk assessment to show that the activities that are taking place next to a road have been suitably thought through to make sure that any volunteers that are taking part are going to stay safe that's our number one priority um, and also we can support communities in terms of working out what management activities will be appropriate for that road verge. Um, and the other thing will be to be um, to help communities to promote their event so that uh, we can get as much support from members of the community to put behind these projects. And also that it's a really important uh, sort of uh, aspect which is that sort of community cohesion when you've got people of all ages who are working together on something that is it's about the fabric of the environment around them and if young people don't know about native wildlife and don't try and support that then they won't miss it when it's gone. It's a really great project from all aspects it's good for the environment and it's good for the social structure of our rural communities.